Any further insights or thoughts regarding the future of the Queen Mary? Please share. Hello everyone, welcome. Operator of Queen Mary in Long Beach files for bankruptcy protection. The 85-year-old plus old former ocean liner turned floating hotel has been suffering like the rest of the nation's hotel industry from a dramatic drop in demand due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Investors Eagle Hospitality Trust have moved forward with filing Chapter 11, which represents the latest setback for the iconic vessel that Long Beach had hoped would be the crown jewel. The city of Long Beach, which owns the ship, issued a statement saying it will try to determine what Eagle Hospitality's immediate plans are for the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary has been closed since May of 2020 because of the pandemic. Here are some of the details that have come afloat. Eagle Hospitality Trust was created in 2019 by Urban Commons, the real estate investment and development firm that owns a 66-year lease to operate the Queen Mary and develop the 65 acres around it. The lease extends until 2082. The trust was listed on the Singapore Stock Exchange with the goal of raising money to finance hospitality-related ventures primarily in the U.S., including a $250 million commercial development around the ship called Queen Mary Island. The bankruptcy filing says Eagle Hospitality has more than $500 million in liabilities the largest of which is an $89 million loan from Lodging USA. Urban Commons says it has been operating the Queen Mary and meeting its financial obligations to Eagle Hospitality. They have stated, We have done everything in our power to reunite during these uncertain times and are working together to facilitate the best chance of survival and success. The Queen Mary has long been a challenge to operate, with a 2017 study recommending that as much as 289 million worth of renovations and upgrades were needed to keep parts of the ship from flooding. The ship has 314 rooms and three restaurants, some of which have undergone renovations in the last few years. Once again, Urban Commons released a plan in 2017 for the 250 million Queen Mary Island project, saying the entertainment complex on the waterfront adjacent to the historic ship was expected to help pay for the ship's desperately needed repairs. Over the last 50 years, Long Beach has brought in several firms, including Walt Disney Company, to manage the ship and develop an adjacent oceanfront property with mixed results. Disney attempted in 1990 to incorporate the ship into a 3 billion sea-themed amusement park, but the Burbank Entertainment Giant declined to renew its lease two years later and instead turned its attention to building California Adventure Park next to Disneyland. One leaseholder filed for bankruptcy in 2005 and an operator abruptly ended its contract and walked away. For much of 2009, in the aftermath of the Great Recession, occupancy rates for the ship's rooms dropped to 50%, barely enough to cover expenses. Long Beach says in its statement that it is concerned about the Eagle Hospitality bankruptcy, stating, As the company has a long-term obligation to ensure the upkeep and operation of the city's asset. So has the ship really been allowed to fall to the wayside? It needs millions and millions of dollars in repairs. Please share your thoughts and insights. Thank you.